What's going on everyone? Poltergeist here and welcome to Let's Play The Evil Within Numero 2! Now, uh, this is actually gonna be a scary game made by the wonderful people up at Bethesda. Love you guys. And I know nothing about it and my face cam isn't centered. Actually, that's a lie. I do know a, a bit about The Evil Within. All I know is that I tried playing the first game on my channel uh, a few years back. But it didn't really work out because the game didn't really run well on my PC and I didn't really feel like, like going back to it. But now I got it on, on the console this time around so it should be good to go with uh, quality wise. And I did do my research on how the Evil Within 1, the first Evil Within game went. Basically, um, the scientists basically made a virtual reality world where everything was peaceful, everything was fine, but the way they made the world was using the brain of some guy, psychopath who had a trauma as a kid and basically caused all these demons to spawn up in the world. Your friend, your friend's an idiot and your other partner basically betrays you to cause the evil crap to happen and then at the game you get out, you become watched by the government, you become a sad alcoholic you're a detective, basically. That's why you got swooped up in the whole thing. But now we're in the second game, and I'm thinking they're gonna do a recap. And I'm and I've been told that they're supposed to do a recap of what happened last time. If they don't, then oh well. But regardless, let's get into the game and just see what awaits us in the darkness below. All right, here we are. We're at new game page. Looks like we got a house of fire, and we will begin now. Let's see what awaits us here. Oh, we got a difficulty. We got casual. For those who want to experience a story without a struggle, items are abundant and you can take many more hits be before you die. Survival. For those who want a ba the basics of survival... <laughs> for, those who, for those who want basic survival experience, horror experience, keep an, eye on, keep an eye on your resources, approach situations with caution, and don't get overconfident. Nightmare. For those who enjoy a challenge and experience survival horror players and for experienced survival horror players. Resources are limited and enemies hit much harder. Careful careful items management and strategic play are, abu are an abundant must, absolute must to survive. Recommended for players who enjoyed the, the difficulty of the previous game. I did not play the difficulty, the hard mode of the previous game. I played in casual, I think, but today I'm leveling up as I go. I'm going to survival. Oh. Home engulf in flames, tragic fire kills child nanny. What? Yeah, that's how house fires start, right there. Turn my volume up real quick. Oh lord. Me, mom, dad. Oh my god, what is happening here? Yep. Chapter one, no. Into the Flame. No, no, this no, is this not happening. happening. There I am, Sebastian. I don't know what's going on though. Am I playing now? Oh yep, yeah. okay, here we go. We're going into the house. I guess. Oh God, Lily. Is Lily my daughter? Lily might be dead, dude. Yeah, you did. You did not go in that way, buddy. The window. That that window doesn't seem to be engulfed in flames. Damn it! Kick, kick, break it open. Break it. Lily, I'm here. Where are you? Oh God, she upstairs. How the hell am I getting upstairs? All right, this is this is off to a great start already. I can't see a thing! Why is there no fire back here? How did this happen? Uh, who knows. Alright, why is that door only partially on fire? There was a lot more fire here just a minute, a few minutes ago. <coughs> I'm coming, Lily! Uh, I'm coming, baby girl! Don't you worry, daddy's on the way to save you from this horrible fire! That's for some reason engulfed our entire house. Ooh. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. Yeah, but where are you? All right, R1 to crouch. Got it. Is R1 press and hold? Nope. Okay. Are you in here? Hello. Um, no. You don't appear to be in here. 
Can I sprint? Not now, apparently. Hello, are you hiding in the closet? Because that's a terrible idea when your house is on fire. Obviously, it's the child's bedroom door that says Lily on it. Why did I not see this before? Lily? Did you jump out the window? Come on out. Lily, Lily. where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. What? Oh. What on earth? Oh my goodness! Oh Jesus! Holy! Oh God, that's terrifying! Yep, there I am, I'm a drunk. <laughs> Excuse me, I just ate. Seems I get the coals in my throat whenever I just eat. And I probably look terrible too, because I just woke up and I really wanted to play this game. I'm sorry. Hello, who are you? Kidman? Kidman? Hello, Sebastian. It's been a long time. Oh, wait, yeah, I remember. She's the one who betrayed me. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Is that it? And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Who? Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was going to happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like that psychologist that forced shut down my throat. But he didn't have answers. You do. You're going to tell me about Mobius. Yeah, Mobius was uh, the place that they got sucked into, I think. Oh. It's uh, Agent Smith. I'm here because of this. Oh, my God. Where did you get this? Lily's still alive. Why do I have a gun? Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a death is child's play. I guess that is true. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily oh. is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. We need you to help save her. Why would I trust you? Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me! Oh, and it's begun. I was hoping you'd come willingly, Sebastian. You didn't answer my question! Lily needs you. Yeah, I didn't recommend recognize Kidman at, at first because the graphics are a bit different from the first game. Plus, it's been years since I've actually played the opening of the first game, but still, it's probably with the bad fact the difference between quality and gameplay. You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? In one of our facilities. So oh. This is the almighty Mobius, huh? Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. Oh, hello. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed up ex cop. Hello. <laughs> I shouldn't be checking her out like that. She's evil. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. Why well, am I strapped to the chair? Well, for obviously, obvious reasons. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I remember this. I read about this. Uh, the tubes. The hospital in the woods. An unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vast... What am I looking at? Stem system. 
Yeah, I remember reading about all of this. What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one is happiness for all. Who are you? This machine, this miracle, will allow our species to achieve greatness. We needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities. The mind of an innocent child. You put her in there! You connected Lily to that machine? Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Who are you, though? Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. I don't recognize the character. You should have looked up pictures of the characters. Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch. An easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. Think about this, Mr. Castellanos. The well, STEM's the end of the world, I think. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. It's pretty heavy stuff. You can save her. Or let her die. I'm gonna go with saving her. It's your choice. Are they actually gonna make me choose? Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me right back in. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. That's all right. I'm fine by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. I look like crap. In real life and in the game. <laughs> And into the USB port. And someone else will be in there for you. Are you ready? Joseph? Is Joseph gonna be in there? Not my editor, Joseph. The um, character Joseph. There's a char um, his partner in the game is called Joseph. Although it'd be cool if I did see that Joseph in there too. Be careful in there, Sebastian. We're counting on you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shut up and put me in the thing. Entry in three, two, one. Oh, it's so much more trippier than I remember. So when that article on Wikipedia said it was a tub, they literally meant it was a tub. Okay. But says the software presents. Yeah, I could have looked up a playthrough of the first game rather than watching an article on Wikipedia, but I didn't feel like it. That would have taken way too much time. A Tango Gameworks product production. And everything stopped. Why did everything stop? Ah, uh, this looks like Kingdom Hearts a little bit. The Evil Within 2. Yay. I'm trying to stay quiet because I think the cutscene's still going on and I don't really know what's happening. Nor do I necessarily like what's happening, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm playing now, okay. Uh. Okay, so sprint does work. Full sprint. Oh. That's my house, I think. Dad, help me! I'm coming, Lily! 
Jesus. I know it's hard to accept Lyra, but she's gone. Our little girl is gone. No. I'll never accept it. You won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. So Myra's my wife or something? What the hell is this place? Oh. Okay. Whoa! Detective. Bright lights. We've got a call. Oh. This is a flashback to this must be the recap that they were told that they told me about. Hello? Hello? New phone, who this? What the This is my office, I think. This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your subconscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. Let's get down to the room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? <laughs> I love how I'm just like messing around and they're just like, oh, you know, this is important things. You need to pay attention. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I see. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication with them. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily too. Why can't you communicate with them? The environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. That's a cute drawing. Too bad my daughter's dead. But I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Well, what am I doing? I wasn't I wasn't actually listening. Oh, I'm already in chapter two? Holy crap, okay. Something not quite right. I'm gonna keep going. Uh is that a cat? I don't ever remember owning a cat. Alright. Hello, kitty. You have red eyes. Should I trust you? What is this? Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? <laughs> slide project okay photographic slide a relic from a pre-phone camera era these are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales they can be viewed they can be viewed using the slide projector in sebastian's room is that what this thing is hello kitty Oh, Kidman, are you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. The whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you and people who cared about you. Point taken. Hmm. I don't seem to have any more slides. Am I supposed to find all the slides? Alright, well I don't have any more slides, so I guess that's it for now. What is that? Is this for me? Green gel. It's gross and, and it usually comes from dead enemies. But if you collect it, you can use it to, 
to obtain increased abilities. Thanks, kitty. Thank you, little kitty cat. I guess the cat's my friend. Do I have a gun? I don't have a gun. And I guess I've not gotten that far in the game. Let me look around a little bit. Other than the cat th that's staring at me ever so eerily, it doesn't seem like there's anything else for me in this room. Whoa! A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Here we go again. Into the looking glass. That's a very strange thing to be doing. <laughs> okay, something not quite right. Sebastian enters STEM. Kidman tells him that finding the members of the Lost Search team may be useful. Sebastian sets out on Union in hopes of finding any trace of Lily. Yes, he does not care about the soldiers. He only cares about his daughter, which is understandable. And there she is, okay? It's almost kind of sad. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you alright? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Okay, I didn't recognize him at first without the beard. And is well groomed. Come here, Blair. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Bitch, I just want to kiss my wife. Get over here. <laughs> Alright, here we are again. Into this weird place. Oh, I almost walked right off of that. That's not, that wouldn't have been good. door. I love doors. Uh, did I come out of the mirror? I guess so, because there's nothing else around me. Alright, going through the door, I guess. That's fun! Nothing scary has really happened yet. Other than the whole what? scenario with the fire. Okay, that's not trippy at all. Where am I? What is this room? Or what? Uh, there's a light over there. I guess it's just a shadow. Okay. Reflecting off of... Nothing? Okay. Maybe it's just coming from this light up here. Alright, this is going way too slow. Oh, I do have a stamina meter. Okay, now I do anyway. Where am I? What is this? What does that say? William Baker. Do I know that name? I don't think I do. <laughs> it's not a door, it's a painting of a door! Ah! I'm sorry. Okay, well now I'm at the door. Oh, that is trippy as hell. Where? I'm now I'm in a hotel room. Toggle flashlight. Wait, wrong button. Uh, okay. Look at the paintings. Are they creepy paintings like usual in horror games? Yes, they are. Oh, what a joy. It's good to know that Bethesda isn't steering from the stereotypes. What is this one? Oh, that's a mouth. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's ever so lovely. Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, look at these wonderful paintings. What the hell? My thoughts exactly. Wait, wait. Oh, dear lord, what is happening here? Search team. Baker. Ooh. What am I watching him getting his head and bla brains blown out in slow motion over and over again? <laughs> Why am I still watching it? 
I guess it's because it's kind of trippy to look at. To think that this is what would happen in slow motion. Not that I'd ever want to think about that. Why am I looking through this? I'm sorry, it's not funny. Hello? Can I s investigate? Can I, like, go into this? I'm putting my hands through it as if it's nothing. Oh god, that's creepy. Alright, I'm weirded out. I'm confused. Someone set this up like it's some kind of movie. What? Am I supposed to touch the blood? One bullet. Straight to the head. Yeah, we got that, but who shot him? What else am I supposed to be investigating in here? Can I leave this? Can I leave? Hello? I can. Okay, good. I don't want I didn't want to stay in there anymore. I guess the creepy paintings are still there no matter what. So, can I turn off the light? Guess not. There's a bunch of other places I can investigate in here. I'm gonna go look around over here. Oh, the paintings. They never stop getting creepy. What is that? What, what is that? What is that? Oh, so weird. Okay, what is this? That's a light switch, I guess. Can I turn on the lights? Tiger statue. What was that? I heard something. A bloodstained mirror? I guess Bethesda couldn't figure out how mirrors work still. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything over here. Of, uh, whoa, what is all this? Investigate, what am I investigating? Oh, someone moved this. Someone tried to block the way out. We're in. I'm gonna move that in a second. I still wanna look around the rest of the house. Whoa, red lights. Oh, okay, for photographs. Like a red a red light room. What's this? Files. I got a file. A photo of William Baker. Baker, the search team leader. Whoever, he was frozen in time when I found him. This must have been taken by the camera right, right, by, right by him. But how is that even possible? Uh, zoom in? Can I zoom in? I want to look at the painting. Yeah. It's very strange how that works. Is there anything else here I can use? Nothing? Okay. Uh, there was another room by the entrance that I didn't go through. Oh, wait, it's just right here. Can I step into the time portal again? Do you stop? No, he's still going. Yeah, I can still step into the time portal. That is really trippy. That is really weird. Really amazing how Bethesda was ma managed to pull that off, though. I, I will say. All right, let's get um, let's go over here. Uh, let's move this out of the way now. It's funny how they gave me a gun holster yet no gun to to holster it in. <laughs> Cause that sounds like it would have been useful for this. All right, what am I doing? What did I do? Oh, I just pro I just probably shook off the fact that that probably hurt. I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. I feel like it's going on pretty long, but I want to. Just, I want something to happen before I end the video. What's this? Hello? Can I get out through here? Hello? Anybody out there? What was that? Okay, that's just a shading effect. Bethesda, I found a glitch. Fix it. Who who just looks at these paintings and just thinks, oh yeah, that's a great that's a great picture to put on a wall. Guy with a slit throat. That's a wonderful painting to put on a wall. I, w I don't know why you would want to put anything else on the wall, like a picture of a field. Nah, let's put pictures of crime scenes. That's a great idea. That'll bring people in for miles around. Where do I go exactly? There's a lot of places I can go here. Hello. Whoa. Telephone. That's a payphone. It only rang once, though. Hello, new phone. Who this? Hello. Shit. Who was that? Was that Ruvik? Is he still alive? I don't know if Ruvik is still alive. He probably not, because I think that I remember reading in the summary that someone squashed his brain. 
which was the thing that created all of this. All the monsters, anyway. Alright, well, that door is open. Let's go investigate that, eh? Or not. Who's that? Manuel Roberto. Hello, Manuel. Uh, I'd like to investigate your home. If that's okay. No? Alright, then. Guess I don't have to do that. In that case, I'm gonna go this way. Up the stairs. Up the stairs! Wait, who turned off my flashlight? I know I sure as hell didn't. Well, I don't need it right now, I guess. Oh, I can get under here, okay. Yeah, I know how to crouch, Bethesda, thank you. What is this? Another file, it looks like. Alright, let's read it. Uh, extra extravagant letter to application SV. Congratulations, Truth Seeker. Thank you for taking our spiritual activity test. We're pleased to welcome you to the next level of knowledge. Please report to the nearest Mew Center with this letter to ascend from probationary application applicant to the position of Mew, Disip Mew, Dis Mew Disciple. This letter, this letter guarantees you an ex exalted position at the next cleansing ceremony. Handwriting on the back of the envelope. Lies. All lies. Yeah, I could have guessed that myself. Alright, that's weird. And that says... Grand. Grand what? Just says grand. Nothing else. There's nothing else there. Just grand. Okay. Well, grand yourself. I'm not done. I'm not fooling with you. Alright, out of here. Getting out of here. Up the stairs again. Let's go. This is a random chair in this hallway. Just gonna cop a squat and watch people walk up the stairs. That's cool. Okay, yeah, I need the flashlight for sure. This is another random indention in the wall. Why, who built these things? Oh, hello. That's a interesting little hallway that I should, that I think I'd need to go through. What was that? There was something there, and now it's gone. Do I want to go investigate? I guess I have to go investigate. Hello. Anyone? Uh, that does not look safe. But we're gonna go investigate anyway, because that's what these games are about. Investigating the things that don't look safe. Now where am I? Oh, hello. Who are you? Oh my goodness. Whoa. Uh, entering and exiting cover. Enter, enter, exit cover is circle. When the cover icon is displayed, you can cover icon. The cover icon, figure one, uh, will be displayed when you when you are facing a valid cover point. Moving in cover. Move along this cover round cover round corners when near the when near when near a corner in cover. An arrow icon will be displayed. Move the direction indicated using the left stick to round the corner without breaking cover. Got it. Alright. Oh, Jesus. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Where is he going? Where is he going? Who okay, I think I'm safe. Oh, I almost got caught. Well, this guy's dead. Just like the search team. Who was this guy, though? Alright, well, uh... I think we found our villain. Not sure what we're gonna do about that. Where did he come from, anyway? Oof. All these creepy little paintings are giving me the willies. Did I actually just say that? Willies? It's a word I've never used before. I gotta find a way out of here. Yeah, seriously. 
I ignore the chair. Ignore all the chairs. Just start running. Was I here already? I felt like I was. Just looks familiar. Oh, all the crime scene photos. And random head rolling. Uh, and that's a giant pendulum for my grandfather clock. Those are like more heads in body bags. And that's a guy, those are some people in body bags being hung by their feet. This game took an instant 180 and I love it. And down that way I don't want to go investigate. I'm too scared. I don't want to investigate anything. Oh, but I have to because, ah! Because I can't go this way. Guess I gotta go investigating. Wonderful. Oh, there he is. Who are you? Why are you here? Am I actually gonna follow this follow this fool? I don't think I need to hide. I think he's gone. Alright. Well, onward and upward, as they say. Oh my goodness. What on earth am I looking at right now? What am I looking at right here? Christ. It's like some kind of artwork. Is this preserved in time as well? Oh. Those are body parts. Yeah, uh, not really in into all this at all in the slightest bit whatsoever. Why is it even here? Is it like there's a flower and a dress of a woman? I'm not into it. I'm getting out. That was, that was, that is, that is, that is disturbing. What was that? Ah, this is the kind of game I feel like I need headphones for. I wish I had PlayStation headphones. I really do. Those are elevators. I don't think I want to go through those. I don't think I have to, anyway. There's a door over here. It seems to be the only door I can go through at the moment. No, can't go through the door. Oh, the elevator opened. I didn't even see this. Okay. Guess we're going through the elevator. Hello? Operate the elevator. Hello? Anybody here? I've got your pizza you ordered. Why am I talking with this lingo? I'll never tell you. Because I'm going to crouch under this fence. I'm going to do whatever I can to deliver this here pizza. Oh, jeez, it's dark. It is very... Oh, jeez. Oh. That's comforting. No, no, no. This is this is fine. I'm, I'm okay with this. No, 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 no. No, this is, this is all fine. I'm, I'm totally fine with this. Nothing's nothing's wrong here. What is that? Is that an eye? That's obviously an eye. What am I saying? No, no, no. Everything's just fine. Everything's fine with this. Oh, I, oh, 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 I touched it. Oh, I touched it. Why did I touch it? How do I get out of here? Where'd I go? Oh, jeez. There's so many of them. Why are there... There was a door here, and now it's gone. There's just this camera here. And now there's a door over there! And they've all moved. I've just realized this. Why am I noticing that? Why is it the last thing that I notice? Oh, jeez. What's up? Oh, hello! Oh, shit. Yeah, that was weird. That was weird. Um. Where am I now? This is all changed. There's no bodies here anymore. Just the door. Is that what I think? That's a mirror. Is that what I think it is? That's a picture of me. What the hell? Hello, who are you? Nobody's there. Oh, I'm getting the willies now. What? Hello! I remember you! Oh, dear lord. Okay, yeah, that's that's a problem. That's a that's a problem. 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 Right about, right about, 
Juke him, juke him, juke him. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Is she behind me? Yes! Yes, she is! Oh my god, don't even turn around! Where am I going? What am I doing? Oh god! Oh god, okay, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Don't even worry about it. I'm running out of stamina. Um, this is a problem. Alright, I'm gonna have to leap over that. Leap! Almost there, almost there, over there, over there. Come on, don't run out of stamina now! Oh, Jesus. She can't, can she get through that? Shit. Yeah, she can. She can get through that. Uh, can I climb this? Climb it, climb it, climb it. I saw this on the way in. Okay, get into the vent. Into the vent. Escape. Escape peeing. Oh, jeez. Did I get away? Yeah, I think. But she's still chasing me. Chase is not over. Damn it. What the hell is that thing? Didn't you see that before, though? I'm pretty sure you've seen that before in the last game. I didn't see it. Oh, that's a rat. Oh, that's gross. Okay, yeah, going back. Um, well, that rat's dead. Yeah, this is not over. This is far from over. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that was a thing that's trying to kill me. Got the first monster, first scare, and okay, that's cool. Whippity, whippity doo da. Is she still here? I don't feel like I'm safe yet. Oh, I don't hear it. Yeah, but I still don't feel like I'm safe. I'm not moving. I'm not doing anything. Yep, there she is. Run, 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 run. Yeah, I know. I got the sprint down already. Don't worry about it. I gotta get out of here. Hello, are you the guy with the camera? You gotta help me, man. <laughs> Oh my god. Why would you do this to me? That's a lot of hands. Struggle, struggle, struggle. H yeah, hit it in the face. Do I have to fight that with a knife? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Oh dear lord. <laughs> That's an excellent question. I was just thinking the same thing. Okay, yeah. Um, automatically health regeneration. When your health is critically low, the life gauge will turn red. While the life gauge is red, it will automatically regenerate up to a certain point. It will regenerate more quickly if you stand still, so try to find a safe place to hide and cover when, a critical, when in critical conditions. Got it. Yeah, my life gauge is low, so I'm just gonna... I got a knife! So is that my weapon now? What? Is that all the health I'm going to get? Alright, well, I got a knife. So that's cool. I got a weapon. And I saw the first monster of the game. I got stabbed right in the chest. And it doesn't seem to be bothering me anymore. So I think that's a good place to stop for now. Um, yeah, Evil Within 2. I guess that's what I was expecting. Uh, not exactly how the first game kicked off. But it's... It's up there, alright, it's up there. So, I'm assuming that we're gonna get right back into this game. Oh, of course we're gonna get right back into this game later on, of course. Because I've had enough of this scary-ass game for a while. But, regardless, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry that if I upset any of you by saying that I didn't finish the first game. But, regardless, we got this game now, and it's gonna be good. And I'm hoping to get a lot of good scares out of it. So, anyway, thanks, for all, thanks you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the like button down below and add to your favorites list. If you want to check out more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I upload videos like this one and much more as often as I can. So anyway, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone. Woohoo!